Hello and welcome to Talk Novate. I'm your host, Rikinwa Onoge, but you can call me Coach Ricky. The concept behind Talk Novate is helping you demystify technology so you can learn certain tools that can help you level up in every aspect of your life. And beyond that, it will also give you, or rather serve as a platform that could help you bring your innovative, creative ideas to life. So a little bit about me. But before I delve more into me, this podcast was actually called Chat Novate. And I had some episodes with some amazing people doing great work in the technology space. But I, I don't think I did my homework enough. And I found out that the website, um, there was a website here in Chat Novate. So of course I had to change to Talk Novate, which I feel really embodies the concepts of this podcast because we're having like great conversations. So on this podcast, in this first season, which is focused on demystifying technology, I'm going to have amazing guests who are doing good things in technology and also people who have been able to push their brands through the digital space. And I would also have some one-on-one conversations, some one-on-one episodes where it's just the two of us. So please subscribe to this channel, share with all your loved ones. Don't forget to like it and drop your comments below. So moving on to today's episode, focus on demystifying technology. I believe that we can all agree that ever since the pandemic, since 2020, moving up to 2024 now, the world has changed. Life as we know it is completely different. And we really do not have any choice but to just go with the bandwagon and just really key into all the opportunities that technology provides. If I take you on a journey back to 2020, you find out that during the pandemic, lots, millions of people across the globe lost their jobs, millions of businesses lost steady flow of income. And, but thankfully, as human beings, we're able to adapt and we're able to look for ways out for means to be more flexible and accept certain digital options like Zoom, which aided people to work from home and also various tools as well. So everything is actually changing. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to just sit back and relax and just wait for life to happen? Or are you going to be more proactive and go after everything you want, regardless of the challenges that come with these times we're in? I remember sometime last year in Hollywood, there was a big strike because of the controversy surrounding artificial intelligence, you know, people are concerned about artificial intelligence replacing them and taking their jobs, which is a legit concern. But I remember last year having a conversation with a friend of mine, and I said it's really ironic that in 2024 or in 2023 at the time, many people are scared about AI taking their jobs, but I'm grateful to AI for giving me my last job. And I just feel like we have to have the right perspective. You can see a glass cup half filled with water and you can say, oh, it's half full or you can say it's half empty. It depends on how you look at it. So for me, I've decided, I've made a conscious effort that instead of being scared of technology taking my job, I'm going to look out for the opportunities that these emerging technologies present for me and use it to level up my life. And that's what I've been doing intentionally intentionally for the past for the past three years actually and as you all know all the amazing people in the world do not gatekeep so I'm very inspired about what we will both learn in the course of this podcast a little bit about me I've had about 14 years diverse work experience across the UAE, the UK, and Nigeria. I've been privileged to train about 1,000 professionals across the globe on how to promote themselves in the digital space and embrace certain technology tools as a whole. When it comes to technology fully embedding it in our everyday lives, I can understand that for people who are not really well-versed in technology or who do not have a background in technology at all, it can feel a little bit intimidating, right? I do get that. Even me, like I have a BSc and MS in computer science, but there are still certain things that make me feel like, ah, oh, okay, maybe this is, maybe this might be too technical or how do I go about it? But there's an aha moment I had about 
about seven years back, I was developing this web application and I, there was this like, I don't know how to call it. Like I, whether I would call it a bug or there was just an, a challenge, major challenge I faced in going through. And I tried everything. I even spoke to like my superiors and spoke to some of my colleagues. Like I can't get past this code. I don't know what the issue is. It really felt like a big deal. So for like 48 hours, I was worried and checking online, doing tutorials and just looking out for what could be the issue. And then eventually I found out that it was just a character in the code that was really like terrorizing everything. So I had to take it out and then the issue was solved. And it made me realize that, wow, we sometimes what seems to be so big and so intimidating is just, it all just stems from a lack of knowledge. And like the good holy book would say, my people perish for lack of knowledge, according to the Bible. And that's something I know I believe to be true is that in 2024, ignorance is a choice. In the era of the free university of the internet, we have ChatGPT today, thank God. We have you know, Google, LinkedIn, other social media platforms, YouTube. There's just so much information out there. And yes, even if it's TikTok and Instagram and X, formerly Twitter, there's, as long as you are able to weed through lots of noise and be intentional about the kind of information you want to get, then it's out there for you. So like we are very privileged to be born into this generation where we have so much knowledge out there at our disposal. So I'm going to urge every one of you watching me right now to be intentional about absorbing content that can move you forward in your everyday life and in your career as well as your business. And also if you can just cast your mind back to 2020 and you know, the whole world was scared and many people were losing their jobs. But there are also many millionaires, especially in the digital space, you know, YouTube vloggers that came out during, you seized the opportunity during the pandemic to really push themselves forward because the whole world was literally at home and online. So they used that to their advantage. And that's what I want each and all of you watching me right now to do for yourselves. So I'm going to share with you certain tools that you can use to bring your innovative ideas to life. I know that if you are not into coding, you might feel like, oh my God, I don't know how to code, or maybe you don't have the resources to pay an expert software developer or app developer or data analyst or what have you. But in today's world, there's just so much you can do online for free. So I will start with web application, right? Because if you want to do anything online, you need to have a digital footprint starting from social media and beyond social media. It just shows a certain level of professionalism when you have your own personal website. So if you have no coding experience, you have minimal resources, you can't afford to pay a professional and you want to do it yourself. We have applications like Quix, Squarespace and AppyPy, which just help you create your website in hours. Like you can create like really exciting website to showcase your brand. It has certain like drag and drop features, which would really be very helpful for you. And moving on to that, yes, we're in the age of AI now, everything's to chat GPT, um, which just gives you all the information you need. And if you are able to use the right prompts for it, if you want to have your own chat bot, your own mini chat GPT attached to your site or your social media platforms, there are tools like ManyChat, Chatfuel, which almost similar to Wix, the web app, the DIY web applications, where it just has like drag and drop features. You don't need to have any coding experience and you can literally just do it all by yourself. And then the famous ChatGBT also gives room for people to create their own AI enabled chatbot with no coding experience at all. So I'm really just sharing this to open your mind to realize that everything you've always wanted to do, any innovative ideas you have, it's actually possible. Like gone are the days where you feel worried that maybe you don't have a certain kind of degree or qualification or you don't have a very like huge budget, right? But you don't need that right now. 
And then if you really are stuck somewhere, just ask, dear chat GPT, I'm having certain issues in XYZ. How do I go about it? Or you can go to YouTube and there's just so much information out there from professionals who are willing to share knowledge for free. And then moving forward to tech courses, I'm going to share with you some free platforms that some of them I've used and some of them I haven't used, but I've gotten like great reviews from some of my friends and some of my peers. So the first one, which is my favorite, is Harvard University. The Harvard, the renowned Harvard University actually gives some free online courses, some free tech courses. There are some options where you get to pay a certain fee to probably get a certification, which is relevant for your CV. But you can actually learn certain things for free from some of the best professors in the world today. So just go and have a university website and Google their free courses and just see what works for you. It's something that you can do. Given, I think it's really, or rather I know it's really flexible. So it's something you can embed in your everyday life. Um, Besides Harvard University, we have Code Academy, we have Coursera, we also have Khan Academy. And beyond all these, beyond all these like course centers, online course centers that I've mentioned to you, all you need to do is just check Google, like whether I get free courses, whether it's cybersecurity or data analysis, web design, mobile app design, technical writing, whatever it is that you really want to learn, you can do it today. So basically, that's a nutshell of what I'm going to talk in today on this episode of Talk Novate. I really hope I've been able to inspire you to go beyond your limiting beliefs. And I get it because I've been there. I've been on the other side of the table. I remember when I was doing my master's in computer science, I was the only female student in class. The only female master student. And I it was a bit intimidating for me because I'm like, where are all the ladies? Like, what's going on here? So it's just being a female in this industry, I know how intimidating it can get. And being interacting with some of my friends who are outside this industry where they have like certain ideas, it just feels beyond them. But I'm here to tell you today that no, it's not beyond you. So if you actually believe me and you've been able to learn something in this episode, I would just inquire all of you listening to me right now to please give a moment of silence to all those limiting beliefs you've had in your head that has delayed you from moving forward with your creative ideas. So let's give a moment of silence. Thank you. So please don't forget to. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this video, like it, drop your comments below. And if you have any inquiries or if you want to come on this show, you have any questions or things you want to clarify, you can just send an email to talknovate at gmail.com. Thank you.